grade 10 learners, welcome to our English class. Before we proceed to our lesson, please take note of the following reminders. First, prepare your paper, pen, and your self-learning module. And remember, you can always pause and play this video whenever necessary. You can even go back and visit some parts of this video to clarify some things and to understand better the lesson. Our lesson for today is Technical Terms and Research. And our most essential learning competency for this lesson is Distinguish Technical Terms Used in Research. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to be acquainted with technical terms used in research and define research terminologies. Before we start, do what I know activity. This activity diagnoses your stock knowledge on the basic technical terms used in research. Answer this 10 item quiz by choosing the letter of the correct answer. Let's start! Let's check your answers. Did you get all the answers correctly? Job well done! Next is answer what's in. Research has served us well and improved the quality of our life. On this activity, try to recall the scientists and their brilliant inventions as products of their research by matching column A with column B. To give you time to do this activity, pause this video and play it again to continue. Good job! What's new? To help you distinguish some research terminologies, in this activity, identify the elements of a research title. Instruction. Identify terms in the research title and write the terms on the space provided below. You may edit the research title if you wish to complete the elements of the research title. Study the sample below. 
In this case, our research title is Improving Reading and Comprehension Skills of MNHS Grade 7 Learners Through Supplementary Video Tutorial Basis for DepEd TV Content. Here is the edited research title. Here are the following research terminologies. For research process or method, we have improving. For topic as point of inquiry, we have reading and comprehension skills. Participants, respondents, or subjects, we have MNHS grade 7 learners. For intervention, we have through supplementary video tutorial. For research output, we have DepEd TV content. And for catchphrase, we have watch and learn. Are you now ready to do the activity? Let's start! Again, to give you time to do this activity, pause this video and play it again to continue. Good job! Let's now have what is it? Research can be an exciting hobby especially if you are acquainted well with technical terms used in research. Let us understand these research terminologies. Research methodology. This includes theoretical and philosophical assumptions upon which research is based and the implications of this for the method or methods adopted. Research paradigm or philosophy of research. This refers to the entire constellation of values and techniques and so on shared by members of a given community. Research design. According to Saccharin, a research design is set up to decide on, among other issues, how to collect further data, analyze and interpret them, and finally to provide an answer to the problem. Saccharin has identified six elements of research design. These are purpose of the study, type of investigation, extent of research interference, study setting, unit of analysis, and time horizon. Research techniques. Techniques or approaches applied within the method to collect data. A single method could employ a number of techniques. For instance, survey is a method and questionnaire is a technique. Next is research instrument. It is a device to collect data such as lab instrument, questionnaire, researcher, interview guide, and camera. Research is all about making right decisions. While planning, researcher first needs to decide upon what shall be his or her research methodology. Theoretical Framework It represents context of studies which are based on particular theories, testing them or explaining them, or models based on previous studies. Conceptual framework, on the other hand, is developed by the researcher to solve a particular problem that he or she wants to find solution. What's more, the following are common research terms that are usually discussed during your defense. Familiarize yourself with the following research terms so you will be confident enough to face your panelists when you will be asked. First, we have research proposal. It is a written presentation on the planned investigation of research problem or issue which the thesis writer contemplates to undertake for his study. Next is research or thesis. It is a scholarly report of an investigation, the product of which contributes to general knowledge. It has a practical value and contributes to an area of specialization. Third is variable. It is anything in a research situation that varies and can be measured. The next one is hypothesis. It is a tentative statement about how two or more variables are related. In current practice, hypothesis is stated as known relations among variables, otherwise known as null hypothesis. This is an intelligent guess on what would be the output of a research prior to its conduct. Next, we have related literature. 
It is a discussion on the secondary sources of data taken from local and foreign references, observing proper documentation. And lastly, related studies. It is a discussion on the primary sources of data taken from foreign and local researches such as thesis and dissertations. To know more about research terms, please refer to your self-learning module. To test your understanding on the lesson, let's answer what I have learned. Check your understanding with the information you read. Complete the sentence by providing the correct term in the blank. Very good! Please refer to your self-learning module for the rest of the activities. And don't forget to submit your outputs to your English teacher. Congratulations! You have just finished Module 1.